I mean, wow, what an ending. How special was that? Yeah, it's great. It's great being back here at Wembley in front of our home fans. And they're brilliant again tonight. And another big goal for you at Wembley. You must be getting used to this. Yeah, this feels like home to me. It's brilliant to be back here and the girls' excellent performance again tonight. And we, we keep moving forward. Did you want to take that last penalty? Yeah, um, I think I was just excited for it, really, and just calmed myself down and, yeah, was ready to take it. What was going through your mind before you stepped up to take it? Uh, I just looked the keeper in the eye and uh, I just thought, I'm going to score. And just explain about the buzz around this England team. You know, another trophy, another amazing performance, a penalty shootout as well. This is really special what this England team are building ahead of the World Cup. Yeah, I think we're made of great people in this team, the staff and players, and it's about moving forward and be ready for July. I think another different challenge again tonight here, and I think we're building momentum and keep moving forward now. Leah, what a night. <laughs> Don't worry, you can carry on darting. You've just won. That's absolutely fine. What a night, another trophy, and beating the South American champions. How good was tonight here at Wembley? Yeah, I think... Um Second half, I, like we weren't best pleased with our performance, but I think to win on a penalty shootout at Wembley, um, yeah, again, it's not too bad, is it? And taking a yeah, pick this up. This is good. Home, so yeah, it's good. It's very good. You're collecting these for fun at the moment. It's a nice habit, isn't it? Yeah, I think it might be time to get a trophy cabinet. And it's the big one to come that you really want. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's got their eyes on it. Today was a little stop uh, in terms of what the focus is on, um, but. I think everybody, every time you win, it makes you want to win more. People at home can't see this, but we're surrounded by photographers because you're holding this trophy. Let's talk about the penalty shootout because yeah. what was going through your mind when you were watching those? To be fair, we looked at the list. I'm like, those penalty takers are incredible for us. Uh, Mary, we know how good she is in goal as well. So that was actually, um, I weren't worried at all, to be honest. So it's pretty good, yeah. So it was picked and you guys were ready for when that time oh, comes? Yeah, absolutely. We had a little bit of a conversation around it, make sure everybody's good, but nobody in this team would shy away. I don't think everybody's ready to step up and take responsibility. And then you see execution was... And for the equaliser, your heart must have sank when you saw that go in. Yeah, the equalisers like that as well, isn't it? You know, you think, oh, if I'd have just done this or if I'd have just done that. Um, but we didn't necessarily not deserve to concede. I think we're a lot better than we were second half. Uh, even though there's still good things, so uh, maybe got what we deserved and then had to finish the game off a different way, but it's probably good to expose ourselves to all these challenges, to be fair. Exactly, ahead of the World Cup. Um, and in terms of how tough were Brazil defensively in the second half? Yeah, I mean, me personally, I know a couple of the girls said it, we just didn't come out the way we should have come out. We were rocky, um, complacent, not good on the ball, but a team like Brazil will take advantage of that, so I think we did good not to concede um, early on. And then once we sort ourselves out, I think we're a good enough team to be able to deal with those counter-attacks. But a, a team like Brazil, you give them an inch and they'll take it. And in terms of how important this is for momentum ahead of the World Cup, another winner's medal, won the Arnold Club Cup, won the Euros. I mean, it's just going from strength to strength, but at a really crucial time. Yeah, I mean, I was reminded um, by somebody close to me to enjoy the moments. And, and Kaz, I was speaking to Kaz Carney as well, and she just said to me, well, I can't you enjoy it along the way, but we work hard, we put the work in, we, we don't shy away, we give everything we can to England in this pursuit of this greater goal, but we're going to enjoy it along the way, and it just means, um, I think, the more we remember and the more we feel when we do things like this, it's what gives you the fire in your belly for hopefully the summer. And where are you going to be taking that trophy tonight? Are you going to be keeping hold of it? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I think I'll let Mary take it back too, Ben we say it's pretty impressive. Not waking up next to it in the morning then? Yeah, no, not me, not me. Thanks, Leah. Congratulations. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Mary, massive congratulations. Winning a penalty shootout and some crucial saves as well. How's your heart after that? Oh, just relieved, to be honest. I feel like that just sums up goalkeeping within, you know, five minutes. Uh, disappointed with the goal. I would have preferred the clean sheet, but I really wanted to make it up to the girls. And, yeah, we won, so that's the most important thing. And what, how tough was it coming up against Brazil in a penalty shootout here at Wembley? Yeah, it's hard. Obviously, they're very technical footballers. I was disappointed I didn't see the first one. I thought I might have had enough on it. But, yeah, let's just say it's good practice for the World Cup in the summer. Did you feel ready for penalties? Yes, I did. I had to be. After the last few minutes of the game, I had no choice. So, uh, yeah, win by hook or by crook. Um, so, yeah, just, just really pleased with that, to be honest.
And in terms of the World Cup in three and a half months' time, are you guys aware of the target on your back going in as European champions and winning here tonight as well? Yeah, I thought we played really well first half. Second half, we made it really difficult for ourselves, didn't keep the ball well. Um, they obviously changed tactically as well and, and really got into the game. So, yeah, we, plenty to look at, plenty to review and plenty to improve on. And we spoke to you before the game. You spoke about your journey, the struggles that you've been through. So just sum up what it's like being here tonight, making crucial saves, winning a penalty shootout with the World Cup on the horizon. Yeah, it's a bit mental. It's a bit mental. I just pinched myself. I was thinking as I was walking out today, I just feel so lucky to be able to do what I love. I wouldn't change it for the world, even when you have little wobbles like tonight. It's just an incredible feeling to play out in front of a packed Wembley. Uh, it's just mad, really, considering you know where I've been. Um, but I'm just so pleased to be at this point. Um, and I'm buzzing to be here with the girls. I just love playing for my country and the standard of this football is incredible. And also inspiring many young goalkeepers here tonight and around the world. Yeah, trying to. Hopefully they'll watch the second bit, maybe not the, the last few minutes of the, of the game. Uh, but yeah, I'm here to inspire as many people as possible. Yeah, try, trying to make goalkeeping as, as attractive as possible, get more kids into the game because it is a great position. You're a hero to all of us. Well done tonight and enjoy getting another medal. Thank well done. Thank, Thank you very much. Serena, winners of the first finalissima at Wembley after a dramatic penalty shootout. How do you begin to sum up the occasion? Sorry, how do you, how? How do you sum up the occasion? Oh, well, an incredible atmosphere again. Um, that will never, um, yeah, that will never be normal for me, for, for not for us. I think a great game, two different phases, first half, second half. And great learning, uh, lots of learning for us uh, in preparation for the for the World Cup. But uh, nice, the, the learning thing is nice. But we really wanted to win this one too. How much did you practice penalties? Well, this week we uh, didn't have the opportunity a lot. We practiced it yesterday, and before the Euros we practiced a lot and the, and the scenarios and how you know the walk and all those things. Your whole plan. So we just repeated it a little bit yesterday that in case we should have a shootout, we knew what to do. And I think we did good. How tough was it to adjust to Brazil's adjustments at half time? Uh, well, I think Brazil played two different, uh, in two different formations. I think the first half uh, we played very well and they, do, they, they weren't able to get press on the ball. And I think we should have scored a couple of more goals. And then we said at halftime they might switch back to 4-4-2 four four because that's what they used to play. And they did, and they pressed a lot higher, and we had a lot of problems to get out of their press and lost the ball a lot. So that, that was a struggle for us. But again, um, it's good for us. We get so much learning out of this. And 30 matches unbeaten. Serena, even by your standards, that's pretty good. Another medal here tonight with the World Cup on the horizon. This is a really exciting time, you managing this England team. Yeah, yeah I'm, I feel privileged. Uh, I'm very happy with, uh, working here. Um, it's such an incredible group. It's you know, so much fun. And, and as we, it's, uh, the, the team is so committed and we want to learn every day. And it's so nice to be part of. And are you happy with where this England team are at ahead of the World Cup in three and a half months' time? Be. Um, I think with this, uh, the first half really good, the second half we got challenged a lot in possession by playing out of press and uh, of course out of possession also because they were attacking more, that's what we needed to. So um, yeah, I'm happy, it's good that we have that information and we take it from here and then we have Tuesday game and then hopefully one more and then we'll, we will be ready. Thanks so much Serena and we'll look forward to seeing you against Australia. Thank you very much, congratulations.